Well, Damon, how nice it is to talk to you after an Aldershot win because I think we've pulled you a couple of times this season and you come out and, uh, you know, been been very reasonable after a defeat but you've got a smile on your face today and uh, both the team and yourself you had a good game today yeah it's nice to nice to have a chat after a win seem to be saying the same old things um, when you seem to pull me every time we lose but um, no it's nice yes <laughs> today it was not really about the performance just about getting a result after some a couple of really um, bad results at home um, we just needed to get the result however it came and it come with a good performance to be fair I think we can still be better than we was but um, yeah, it would be nice to get 3 and 4 but if you'd have given us 2-0 a clean, especially a clean sheet after conceding 3 in our last two home games we'd have definitely snapped your hand off before the game Yeah I mean there's a balance in football isn't there between the obvious what Barry comes out with quite a lot which is, which is you know we need to concentrate on ourselves and get our own game right and that's absolutely true sometimes of course you do have to pay respect to the opposition and I think that, that, that to me is what was evident on, on, on Wednesday night we came out and we were so determined to play well we went at it but it was a job to take care of, of, of some of the Forest Green players as we just said off air they've got a lot of quality but let's focus on today um, what, what any team at any level of football needs in order to, to, to put on a good performance and get a, a result is 8, 9, 10 of the 11 players being on their game and yeah. they were today weren't they or you were today weren't you yeah definitely like you say if every week you have 9 players better than, their, better than 9 of their players you're going to win more times than not and and that was the case today, like you say, against um, Forest Green. Um, we started well and then slipped away and they, they controlled the game after that. But today I think it was roles reverse. I think um, we we started and finished well and dominated the game. I think we had, a, like you say, a bit more quality out there on the pitch. And um, if we could match their work rate, which we did and more, I think, um, we knew we were going to get a positive result. And I think the side showed good listening and good learning from Wednesday night because you have to adjust, you have to make tweaks and, and obviously against what at the moment is a struggling talkie side seven days ago, we went with a particular shape that worked on the day but it proved more difficult against the quality of Forest Green. Today we went more to a more of a 4-4-2 and, and, and Reese Brown was back out wide which is a shame, we love to play him through yeah. the middle but you can't always do that but there, de there seemed to be a distinct focus even though he was wide at getting the ball to him more. Yeah, we, we mm. have game plans before every game mm. and we don't play a formation. We play numerous formations, whatever's going to be best to beat that team mm. um, on the day. And like you say, we've shown a bit of versatility, played the diamond and 4 4 2, 4 3 3, whatever. But um, today, yeah, we had a game plan. We knew that walks as well as Reese um, could hurt them with their pace. Mm. And um, that proved so. But um, also switched our game up a little bit. We. We, we like to pass the ball, we like to get on the ball, especially myself, but mm. sometimes there is a time when you just have to put it in behind and say to the quick boys, go and put them under pressure and uh, put them on, put them, like you say, put them under pressure behind their defence rather than all in front of them. And that, that proved successful today. So we, we've mixed it up and um, yeah, it'd be nice for us to go and show our quality against the better sides in the uh, league, but... Last year, I think the thing we struggled with was picking up points in the games you'd expect us to. So, mm. um, yeah, I think I think we're doing all right. We've got another couple of levels in us, uh, I would say. And yourself and your own form. So that's uh, is that three consecutive starts now and yeah, in a week. Yeah. Um, and uh, you know, you really looked on your game in the middle of midfield, pulling the strings again. I've said a few times when you've not been playing that we perhaps just lick a, lack a little bit of that passing now. At Torquay, you threaded a lot of simple balls through to uh, to Reece Brown. Today, you were picking passes different sides, and good to have the outlet of those two boys, you know, working the flanks. Yeah, I, I say I always say in interviews I always try and get on the ball. I might might give it away or get get um, get caught on it every now and then. Not not, not often, but every now and then. Mm. But I'll keep trying to get on it and keep keep passing it. And I've been happy. I've um, come in and we've done three games in a week, which is quite big for me because um, with my with my mm. past mm. with the injuries, I've um, really got to look after myself and manage myself so it's been a big ask to do three games in a week and how, do, you, do you mind me asking how you, I'll obviously be shattered after a game but yeah. how are you feeling generally are you carrying any niggles are you feeling quite free at the no, moment I feel, I feel good like I say I'm having to manage myself um, it'll be interesting this week to see how my body is after the three mm. games um, mm. 
but it's going to be I've got to be sensible with it I can't be silly and mm. go gun ho every day because mm. the last two times I've um, I've picked up little injuries doing that so I've got to be hold myself back really and um, be sensible so I'm peaking in the games not in training all week but um, mm. no I feel really good I feel fit and we've won two out of three um, in the last three games that I've started so if we mm. keep that form up we're going to get promotion that, that's promotion <laughs> form, so. well that's a positive way to look at it and uh, and one other thing we've picked up in commentary you know when, when Barry seems to make two or three changes when he has to or when he wants to and they tended time and time again you know to make impact and is that perhaps evidence of the fact that although this is a small squad it's both a a together squad and b that the quality the, there's some strength in depth with the quality anybody can really step into the team yeah definitely i think we have got a really small squad but that's i think that's that's a good thing as well mm. as it might mm. um people people look at it and say cool a small squad that's not so good but it's good because you've got every single player's got a chance of playing or getting on the pitch at least mm. and um, competitions for places is, is really hot and it keeps everyone on their toes and like you say subs have come on and made an impact and uh, that's what you need because they come on making impact and they might be starting next week yeah and Jake who's uh, sadly had to sit out for three games he'll be available again on Tuesday if there is any need or desire to freshen it up obviously Sam was out of the uh, squad today ill I believe yeah, yeah, hats, uh, I'm not sure what happened. Mm. I think his, uh, his old belly weren't too good this morning, to be mm. honest. But um, yeah, Jake will be back. And mm. um, like I say, I, I can't make the decisions for the manager, mm. whether he's going to come in or wait his time or whatever. Mm. But the boys have done the job on the pitch in the last, like you say, other than Wednesday. But um, so he might have to bide his time and um, mm. and prove prove to the manager he, he should be back in the team. But it's, it's refreshing to have numerous players that mm. are, are fighting for the spots on the pitch because it, it makes everyone makes everyone up up their levels 10% more keeping keep keeping the focus on the game and their own performance um yes yeah, so just final thoughts then to Boreham Wood it's a it's a while I have been there it's a while it's a few years when all the shot were back in the Ryman Premier League what about yourself you you played there no it's local to me though mm. it's only uh, 15 minutes down the road so that's wow. nice I've been Waiting for this one to be Me honest. too, mate. It's my yeah. nearest game as well. But, yeah, uh, so I'm looking but forward to it. Nearest. But I've been yeah. there. Got a couple of friends there, mm. and um, it's a nice little setup. It's it's a small club, but it's with no disrespect to mm. Welling or mm. whoever else, a Geisley. It's mm. a, quite a nice place to go, and it will suit us. They got a nice pitch and mm. nice facilities, so it's not um, it's not one of them grounds you uh, dreading going to. To be honest, so I'm quite looking forward to it. Yeah, and, and they'll uh, be a good team. They are a good team. They've won yeah. two nil today against oh, really? Welling, or at least it was two nil, I think, oh, really? when when I saw. Um, so they're certainly holding their own in yeah. this uh, division. Um, the other interesting thing about it is they don't get particularly big crowds, yeah. and there's every chance there'd perhaps be about 600 there, 700, maybe with about 300, 350 order shot as well. So it could even, uh, you know, we could even give it the feel of a home game. Yeah, the, the, to be fair, the, the fans travel really well here. Yeah. All the boys say every away game is frightening, mm. really. Mm. Not only Boreham Wood, but the mm. crazy distances that big numbers travel to which is unbelievable really um, 250 down at Torquay after oh, a 3 0 home defeat that was staggering wasn't it it's frightening really and like you say our form has been pretty good away from home so they've been getting rewarded but we need to reward the home fans a little bit more but um, mm. no, it's never through a lack of trying that's all we'll say and um, the style of football the manager wants us to play we're going to make we're going to make mistakes we're a young team and we're learning but we'll, we'll never not We'll never not try, and um, it'll be good to see them all down there at Bourne Wood, and we're definitely going there for the three points. Yeah, well, well played today yourself, individually and collectively, the team. Recover well, and we'll see you Tuesday night. Thank you very much, mate.